Hey y'all, this your girl Shanice. Come to you guys real quick with a story time for the first time. Um, anyway, so um, make the long story short. I'm trying to make it short for you guys. I had to delete the other one because I had to redo it over. Um, so if you don't know this, you I'm pretty sure you know. I talk about it like try to talk about it a little bit sometimes in my videos. Um, my husband cheated on me four years ago. I knew about it. Um, after he did that, um, everything just started snowballing it was like everything just destroyed just from having a car to not having a car to riding the bus from me praying to god to god answering our prayers so i was getting a 2014 car last year um so uh anyway to make the story short um what happened was okay we're not even gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about something that recently happened it's because i already knew about that already um like so it's this female She's dark skin. No problem with me. I don't care. Um, same vibe I got from the girl that he cheated on me with. It was an accident. I understand that he was going through what he was going through. Had nothing to do with me because I know I'm pretty. Pretty. Don't get it twisted. Um, but uh, I'm so tired. I'm trying to tell y'all this so much I know. So like, it's this female that um uh, worked in the same Walmart he worked at. Um, we're so blessed now to where he doesn't even work there no more. He still works for the company, but he works for, like, upper, big leads. He in the big leads. Um, his check that he used to get for a whole month is what he gets monthly. I mean, every two weeks. So, this chick questioning my husband, asking him questions why he left and all this jazz and all that. I told my husband, I said, you don't tell no female girl, you don't tell no female that you're about to start making more money. You don't tell no one that. You don't tell no girl that at all because she thinks that she can get some out of you. So, um, he comes through the grocery line. She asks him, um, well, where you get all the food? Where you been at all the jazz? Like the stuff I just told you. Then, on top of that, she going to say, well, you can take care of me. Or whatever he said, no, I'm already taking care of a woman. She said, you can take care of two women. He said, no, I'm already taking care of one. I told him, I said, you worded that wrong. You should have said, this. my wife is my wife. She's not just a woman. Because that's just saying, like, I'm his baby mom or something. No, I'm his wife. So, at the end of the day, he bought her some drink. I did not care. I did not mind. What would you do? Buy, him some, buy her some drink. Okay, it's cool. My thing is... Prior to that, because I felt like she had a motive to it, because every time we come to store, somebody she eyeballing me crazy, looking at me crazy, doing stuff, just looking at me when I'm walking with him. So I asked him, I said, you know her? What's the deal? What's the deal? So I'm already upset about the fact that he bought her something to drink and what she said out her mouth. So that day when we went to the store, I wasn't even going to say nothing to him. I wasn't even going to let it go. I see her eyeballing my husband from his head to toe, from shoes to every, just looking. So I walk behind him just to, you know, just to see what's going on. He don't even notice it. I said, that's why you can't do nothing for hoes. You can't do nothing for females that are just getting pregnant, pregnant by different niggas just for no reason. This, I'm pretty sure for no reason. I seen this girl kids, okay? Every time my kids go out the door, they, they clothes ain't going to be dirty. I'm sorry. He, and my son ain't going to be dirty. When he first started school, man, we went out. Even my brother went out for him. You know what I mean? Went way out. So, um, and now that my husband have more income, my son gets to get his new J's if we want him to have J's or more Nikes next week. Okay? Anyway, but I'm not using saying like, oh, I'm better than her and things, nothing like that. My thing is, don't you never in your life disrespect my marriage. Because at the end of the day, I told her, I said, this ain't no no fresh marriage. We've been married for seven years, boo. Almost a decade. So, be before we even had children, we was married. Okay? So, at the end of the day, um, I told him, I said, you was trying to, we trying to fix our marriage. You can't be doing things like that and give these females ideas and think that, you don't care. Or he said, but baby, when I did it, I thought of you. I thought of you. That's it. He said, I remember when you was pregnant. I thought of you and how you wanted, um, if you needed some, if you was thirsty, I would want somebody to buy something for you. But I said, baby, you can't do that nowadays. These hoes nowadays think you doing it because you like her. You don't care about your marriage type of thing. So then I go up to her. I confront her about it. I said, I don't like it, right? 
And she's like, okay, I'm sorry. Um, I won't do it again and such, such, and such, right? So, my thing was, too, when we came to rush, she was real friendly. And my husband was like, he was so confused why she was so friendly like that. He said, it probably was the look I had on my face because I'll be looking like I'm about, I'm about to kill you. Anyway, I do. But I be wanting to, but I know I can't. Um, uh, I can keep with my words, though, too, as well. Not just these with my words as well. So, um, she, uh... So after that, y'all, she after that, she would just stare at me every time we come to the store, wrong high. So one day, so one day she laughing, we going out to the store, and I turn back around with my husband. It's just me and him that day. And I said, So oh, you disrespect me, so it's a white lady that's there. I guess she's the manager. I don't care. If you the manager of the police, whatever you are, I'm gonna stop and say something because you disrespecting me. She's talking, about, oh no, I didn't do nothing. So the white lady come up, she don't even know what's wrong. So I end up talking to the black lady. I mean the black manager. And he, uh, I explained to him, I'm going, and he was like, he didn't like that either because he's married also. And, um, she shouldn't be doing that. So if I have any more problems, come to him. So then, make the long story short, I'm trying to keep it at 10 minutes. Anyway, so make it short. So when, I, um, so she's still laughing. So one day I come up in there dressed cute because I try to do that all the time. Just to show these hoes, my husband, what he had, baby. It don't take that much. It don't take that much. Just pull my hair back. You know what I mean? Keep my eyebrows done. Do you know what I'm talking about? Put on a nice shirt, nice jeans, nice shoes. I'm good. It don't take that much. I don't need no makeup. I don't need all that. I don't, I don't even need this. I just chose to do it because I'm a female and I, I, I used to love this when I was a teenager. Anyway, so what happened was you need to go pee by yourself. Go. Oh, because I'm trying to do this real quick. So, um, the other day, uh, I came in, she was laughing. I just kept walking with my nose up to the sky, beautiful as I am. And, um, so, yesterday we went to the store, and God told me, he said, she's in there. Don't be mad, don't do nothing, don't say nothing. So, I heard her laugh when we in the store. So, I come out the store, like, I, I didn't notice if that was her or not. My husband said, yes, it was. So, we leave out the store. And uh, I see her sitting over there looking homeless, like she waiting for somebody to come pick her up. Poor stink stink. Oh, my husband got a nice car. He got money, and you want him? No. So what happened was, I seen her, and I sure did turn around and just bust out laughing at her. And my husband just started laughing. He said, oh, my God. I said, because remember, you told me, don't do nothing in the store. Wait till I come outside and do something. So she was outside, so I did it. Sure did. And then every time I walked around the corner, walked around our car, I looked down there at her and laugh again and hard. I mean hard. Make sure the whole parking lot can hear me. Oh, okay. So she over there looking all salty. Um, I was just gonna have him drive down there and make me let me laugh in her face again. So anyway, <laughs> it was so funny. So every time I go to the store, instead of me getting at her too, getting mad about her laughing at me, I'ma laugh at you, boo, because you want everything I got. You wanna be able to do this, do that, get your nails done, get your hair done, do this. Now I look bummy, now let's thank you. Like my type of the way I am, when I was pregnant, if my husband wouldn't have cheated, we had the income. Baby, I would be, you know what I'm talking about. Like now, if we pregnant now, because we've been working on it since I got off. If we pregnant now, I'm telling you, I'm going shopping. Like, I'm going shopping. It's already a budget set for me already. But I'm just saying, like, there's, there's no need to lie. Like, I, I'm fashion. Like, I'm still getting my nails done. I'm going to have to have one of those things on when I go in there when I'm pregnant. Because... Y'all know, man. I I love clothes. I love to look good. I'm not a person that like to spend my whole check for clothes. No, if I didn't have children, yeah. But anyway, that was my story. <laughs> Comment, subscribe. Let me know if you had the same issue. My thing is, don't get mad no more. Laugh at these hoes because they want to be in your place. These hoes want to be up in your face. They want everything you got. They want your money. They want your man. They want to be in your place. <laughs> anyway, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Bye. And if you want any more stories like this, let me know. And this is a true story, like, for real. Bye.